Hello everyone, my name is Asim Ghani and welcome to the demo. This is my first attempt to build a full stack app. I'm using React for the front end, Spring Boot for the back end, and Postgres for database. Let's get started. First, we check that the back end is up and running, and yes, it is. The back end is designed as such. When we first start it up, it saves a couple of events and a user in the databases. So let's go to the PG admin and check if it is correct. In the tables down below, let's check the events table. We can see a couple of events there. Let's check the users. And yes, we have one user here, and that is myself. And I have booked myself an event. The event ID is one. Okay. Please note that the front end is designed for a happy path only. As the main focus of this project is to demonstrate the back end skills. So when you first go to the website, you can see a couple of tabs there one for the user and one for the admin as a user we can see all the events which is available in the databases and obviously we can book them and in the admin tab we can see all the bookings a detail of the person who booked an event and the name of the event which is booked you can also create an event modify or delete an existing event so let's try creating an event let's call it christmas and give it a date 23rd so let's create it and there you go we can see a christmas has been added successfully i deliberately made a mistake by giving it a date 23rd because i want to test a modify function as well so let's modify it and give it a correct date and let's try and edit it yes there you go it has been modified successfully so let's go back as a user and see if you can see yeah there you go when we first started we uh, we only see the two events now the christmas has been added successfully we can also go back in the databases and confirm if the new event has been added and voila we can see a christmas here so let's try to book an event here let's book a christmas And we can see a notification here that the event has been booked successfully. Let's go back to the admin. And we can see a new user has been added and a Christmas event has been booked. So finally try, try and delete an event here. Um, there is a restriction that we cannot delete an event which has already been booked. So as you know, let's confirm it uh, the party has been booked and the christmas has been booked so we cannot delete those two events we can only event the seminar because there is no such bookings for that deleted it has been deleted yes let's try a delete party no we cannot delete it let's try it with the christmas we cannot delete it either well that was the front end section as i mentioned earlier that it has only it it has only been designed for the happy path because the main focus is on the back end uh, before we jump and test the data validation and all the api available at the back end i'll show you the github repository for this project that's my github repository let's go into the repository tabs and that is the name of the repository in this repository you can download or clone the projects uh, the code is available both for back end and front end here 
a little description about the project a link to this video and and uh, details how to extract and run it on your local machine and from this link here the api documentation will be available but, but please note that this link will only be available when the backend is up and running on your local machine otherwise the link won't work and you cannot interact with it at all and down below we have a few user stories and some limitations about the project so let's test a couple of user stories on the api documentation the interactive api documentation i must i must say here is the link it's uh, it's a lovely tool called swagger this generates the api documentation we need to modify a little bit to make it more interactive so let's try this this user story let's create an event and there are some limitations like the name must be greater than three characters and the event should be in the future so let's go to the event controllers this is the link where we can create an event as you can see it says it's like save an event and the same instructions are given here provide an event name of greater than two characters and a date in the future to create an event we have seen in the front end that we have successfully created an event let's try give it a, a false data here to test the apis so the first instruction was giving a minimum of two characters for the event let's give just one character it's executed and we have an error saying that data input is not valid that's great let's give it more than two characters and let's try and giving a date in the past just to confirm that the the event date has to be the in the future date so let's try and execute this one and we can see yes the data input is not valid and the error code is 400 so now let's give a a proper data to create an event let's say like there is an event on 15th of december and let's call it uh, i don't know let's call it a christmas party let's try and execute it and there you go the code is 201 and it returns an object with the new event it seems like working let's try one more because the video is getting longer uh, let's try to book an event there are a few restrictions on that it says that the age must be greater than 13 to book an event and the email should be correctly formatted and first name must be of minimum two characters let's try that sorry so yeah there is the link to book an event and let's so the let's try by giving it a random email it's just s is there let's execute it and the error code is 400 and the error is as such that it says email is not formatted correctly so let's give it a proper email email at email.com uh, let's give an age of nine maybe and yes the data input is not valid because the age must be above 13 and let's give it 14 and let's try to execute it well the timestamp they didn't like the timestamp actually <laughs> 
So let's change. Oh, well, I forgot to mention that to book an event, we must give an ID of an existing event in order to book it. So we should have given an ID of an existing event. Let's give an ID of one. And the event, uh, it will take everything itself. Let's try execute it this time. Yes, a new user is created and an event has been booked the event id was one and actually number one was party well there are few other apis available which can be tried and tested only again i should mention this link will be available only if the backend project is up and running on your local machine so let's quickly try one more let's try deleting an event like uh, uh, like I mentioned in the front end, we cannot delete an event which has been booked already. Let's try deleting party to see if they allow us to delete. The ID for the party was one. Let's execute it. And voila, there are two tickets sold for this event. So delete not allowed. Well, <clears throat> I quickly show you the backend code. The structure is as such that they, we have like a user model and event model which deals with the databases, a controller, a repository works as a middleware which helps controller to connect with the databases. And I have create a couple of files for the custom exceptions. Yes, there are many, many, many built-in exceptions by the Spring Boot but sometime we need our own so we have to build a few and in the repository i have written a couple of custom queries for my for this particular project and of course there are many more available anyway uh, from the spring boot to deal with it well, thank you very much for your time. Much appreciated. And the full details and everything, the code is available in my repository. And thank you once again.